Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain this error message right here. Bring up an animated GIF, this one in particular, and I'll click send, and it's going to tell me attachment limit reached. You can try sending your message, but it might not be delivered unless you remove one or more of the attachments. You click send anyway, and nothing happens. It'll just sit here and then it will eventually bomb out. You might ask if we're going to max out our attachments when sending texts with things like animated GIFs and photos and videos, why are they even available? And the answer is because while the limit is very high with Android devices, if you're sending to an Apple device or you're sending to an old Android device, that doesn't support the new technology, the limit's very low. Modern Android device to modern Android device is about 200 megabytes, although you do have to turn something on to get that. We'll show you how to increase your texting size limit. But if you're sending from a, a new Android device to a very old Android device that doesn't support the new technology, or you're sending from a newer Android device to an Apple device, your limit is 600 kilobytes. Now let me explain because it is very confusing, but it doesn't need to be. In the beginning, there was text. That was plain text messages that went through your cellular provider, developed back in the 90s. Everybody knows what that is. Then we were able to do things like add small attachments and photos and pictures and things. That was called MMS. That's multimedia messaging. But today, the problem is we have large attachments. We have high quality video and high quality pictures we want to send, as well as all these animated GIFs and things. They just will not go through a standard MMS technology. Well, there's really two ways around it. One is if you're using an Android device, you turn on chat. Chat is just the friendly name. It's the marketing name for something called RCS which is Rich Communication Service. And that is the replacement for MMS, but it only works on any device that chooses to use it. It's, a, it's an open standard that anybody could use, including Apple. And Google has been pushing very forcefully, including, I believe, some lawsuits to try to force them to support it. But as usual, Apple is forcing people to stay in their ecosystem, so this is one of the ways they do it. If you're with an Apple, it works fine if you're sending Apple to Apple, because again, they're using their own technology, iMessage. But if you want to have something that's standard across all devices, chat is the way to go. So let's quickly flip back to our phone, and you can see at the top it popped up a message saying, couldn't be delivered. Isn't that obnoxious? And that was this one here, not sent. Tap to try again. So if I click on it, but it'll just keep failing. It won't actually go. Yet this one went through no problem at all. Why is that? Well, because this is one of my daughters daily and she's using a Samsung S20, I think. And this is my other daughter, Bryn, who I love just as much, even though she's disappointed me greatly by buying and using an Apple iPhone. So let's do two things now. Let's explain the limits and how you turn on chat if you don't already have it on. So the limits first. If you have just regular MMS, so you're not using chat, the limit is between 600K and 3.5 meg. Most people will tell you it's about 500K, so about half a meg or about 15 seconds of video. That's because it's going through your cellular company's cellular service. If you turn on chat, the attachments are going through Wi-Fi. So if you want to turn chat on, go into your messaging app. In this case, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S22, and then click on the icon to the right of the search bar, which gets you into settings. And you can see here, it's choose an account, add another account, manage accounts, blah, blah, blah. And now we want to drill specifically into message settings. And in here, you'll see chat features, and you think, well, chat is messaging. Well, no, it's not. Chat is the branded name for RCS, as we mentioned, which is Rich Communication Service. Now, if you click on it, now you can see here you have enable chat features. And here we have that turned on. And that, as you can see, will send the data through Wi-Fi. So it'll send attachments and things through Wi-Fi. And this is where Google says you can send up to 200 meg. Also, uh, there's a question about how many attachments you can send. I've seen people claim that you can send 30. Uh, this says you can send uh, up to 20 at a time. And this is straight from Google. So Google Chat is just rich communication service, which is a feature in your standard messaging app that lets you do a lot more, like read receipts, so you know if somebody's received it. You can see if somebody's typing you a response. If you're interested in this, go into your settings, then click on learn more at the bottom here. 
you can see here it does provide a lovely explanation as to how to turn this on, which we've just shown you, but there is more detail here. But the big thing is that our RCS, Rich Communication Service, is dependent on your device and even more dependent on your carrier. So if your carrier doesn't support it, this isn't going to work. If your phone doesn't support it because it's, say, really old, it's not going to work. If you're on an Apple device, it's not going to work. Almost everybody else, this is the answer. Now, the other way to get around this is to use it an actual application rather than an integrated chatting tool. So you could use WhatsApp or Telegram or Microsoft Teams. I love Teams. Even Google Chat. You could use Discord or Viber. I've used all of these before. They work fine. And they have much greater limits. The problem with them is the person at the other end that you're sending to has to have that app and then they have to sign into it and it's just a giant pain in the butt. So for me, I don't use any of these unless I really have to. So for me, I like using the integrated chat tool, which in my case is called Samsung Messages because I'm on a Samsung device and it's using the built-in tool. And I have simply enabled RCS, which is branded as chat. Confusing, I know, but Hopefully that clears it up for you. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe's also always appreciated. If you want to get a hold of us directly, you can at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.